Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dragonheart and welcome to Mountain Blade Warband, a Clash of Kings mod. We are back with Sir Dragonheart, our main character in this Let's Play series and we are in Fair Market at the moment, it's where we left off last time. So let's pop into Fair Market, oh maybe not, actually let's look at the party to begin with. So we have 41 in our company, 52 is the most we can have, we've got plenty of money so not, money's not an issue at the moment. And. I am thinking of joining the Westerlands, the Lannisters, maybe for a month as a troop in their army, just to see how it goes. Oh, it looks like we're empty. No one here? Okay, that's not a problem. What about some volunteers? Oh, we can get two mounted, but that's quite a lot of money for two mounted, so we won't bother with that. Ooh, let's zoom out a little bit. So this fair market, fair market probably get taken back by the Riverlands, I suspect, because it's outnumbered by all the different provinces nearby. Actually, we're in the wrong way. This should be the map as well. This is the way it should be. With the Iron Islands over here, King's Landing is still under the Lannisters. So yeah, we're gonna go and march southwards towards. Go back towards the Lannister lands, I think. Maybe we'll go outside this way, and if we find some men that we can fight, then that's what we shall do. And I'm, if any, if there are any boring parts in this campaign, as if, for example, if I, ooh, looking across your shoulder, you see a raven land. It picks at a worm-ridden log and manages to catch it. You notice a message. Ah, oh, I know this is. It's saying that Renly Baratheon proclaims that he is going to fight and he wants to be the king on the Iron Throne. You'll get a couple of these messages throughout the campaign. But yeah, if there's a, if I join, say, Tywin Lannister and the Lannisters and I'm a troop in their army, what tends to happen is you tend to stay in their army for a long period of time and not much happens. It, you know, you stay in a settlement, you wait and wait and wait for ages. So I'll cut bits like that out if, if of course, that does happen. Hopefully it won't happen. But we shall see. So let's fast forward this a little bit. To Kelp Beach, recruit some peasants. One Westland Levy, that's great. We'll take him. Let's go to the Sunset Keep, or should we go to Oxcross? Hmm, let me think. We'll go to the Sunset Keep to begin with. Let's see who is here, if anyone. Doesn't look. Oh, this woman here. Let's talk to this lady. Let's get to know some of the people of the Westerlands. Joy Buckwell, hello Joy. I say, you don't look familiar. Sir Richard Dragonheart, I do not believe I've met. I don't do not believe I've heard of you before. Um, okay. I want the location of Tywin. He is trapped at King's Landing. Oh, bugger. What about Kevin Lannister, Atlanta? Okay, I I leave. It's, it's no point sticking around. Uh, a lot of money for them. No, no point. Better off getting them from the villages with this Tybalt Craig Cole. I could join his party, I suppose. He's actually f following him by here, so I, I may have a battle I can assist him in. He's following Lord Carl Vance, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I'm gonna help out, I think. Help them out in the battle. Oh, look at this, we're gonna corner them. This is gonna be cool. Oh no, I don't want a naval battle. No! I am Sir Dragonheart, at your service. I am Lord Carl, blah 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 blah. Um, pretty okay, we we don't really care. We could see we can ask to enlist in their army, but of course you can join as a mercenary. But I think you have to do a few tasks with them first before that can happen. Here we go. Do we have a battle? Not quite yet. It shall be soon though. There we go. We have a battle. Let's join in. We want to help. Oh, uh, we are an ally. Rush the aid of uh, an ally. Tybal Craycall we want to help because he is a Lannister and we will board the enemy. So, 100 versus 35, a battle finally. We have our bow and arrow as well. We're the enemy over there by the looks of things, okay. Oop. Let's get the bow and arrow out. Let's go to first person I think for this. Let's see if we can get one or two kills with the arrow. I think I have to aim upwards a little bit for it to drop down. Let's aim for these over there. Of course, my men will get some experience from this as well, which, which will be beneficial in the long run. Not very good with the bow, so I have to improve my 
proficiency. I have delivered three damage, which is terrible at the moment. A bit better off going in with a sword and shield, I imagine. But we'll use the ball of arrows first before we try and get over there. I don't think we'll be able to get over there though, because it does tend to be a bit of a block with the boarding ships. But if we could take out anything, it would be very good. And we did some damage there, it's quite good. Yeah, no, zero damage, it's not good at all. Must be the armor that he's wearing. Come on, see him get another shot away. I love that. Look at the helmet on the Lannisters, it's so brilliant. Very trendy indeed. I'd love to be fight for the Lannisters just, just for the, the uniform. I must say, the, the people that worked on the the uniforms in this mod deserve a pat on the back because they are tremendous. They really are. Let's see if we can get some kills with the sword. Don't think we can get there. Nope, not quite. Can't quite get there. There's a, an invisible wall in the way at the moment. I do wonder if we can go up this way though. Let's see. We might be able to. Will we get affected by this? I hope not. Please don't kill me. Ah, we're okay. Look at that. Excellent. Don't think we can reach from here though. Any more arrows that we can we can take? It seems to be bomber there. Can't quite select it, unfortunately. Oops, and he fell there. No, I can't quite get the arrow. It's a shame. I think there's one over here. Hang on. Sharp arrows, I saw them. There we go. 22, excellent. Right, we use the arrows now. Got a nice view with them by here as well. Let's get back to first person. Let's get some shots away. I'd like to get a kill. One or two kills with an arrow. They got very good armor, unfortunately, for me. Oops, missed. Not very good from that range. Eight damage. Yes, we got a kill with an arrow. Excellent work indeed. I'm gonna kill this guy over there, he's doing my head in. Ho oh ho! Archie's gone up, that's good for me. I probably won't stick with the, the bow and arrow, I'll probably use my sword and shield for most of my battles, but for now at least it's good to have, <laughs> dare I say, a string to your bow. <laughs> it's good to have another weapon though, just in case. Let's see if we can take this knight out. Kill two in this battle, I'm pretty pleased with that. Two arrows left, can we kill him? Can we kill him from this range? I don't think we can, unfortunately. Nope, not quite. Mm, one damage, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go back to third person view. And this should be over. Are any of my men in this battle? I don't think they are. No, oh, there we are. Victory! Victory! Victory, you say. There we go. I killed two, so I'm quite pleased with that. My renown's gone up. My relations have gone up with the Westerlands as well. And Tybalt Krakow. And a rescued prisoner we can hire, a looter, he'll do for now. The more the merrier, dare I say. And let's go back now to land. And we'll find some... Actually, I could have... Where's Tybalt gone? Let's, let's meet up with Tybalt. Don't stick with him for a little while. Oh, he's gone. That's not, a, that's not good at all. Tybalt, where are you going, Tybalt? Clegane's Keep. See if anyone's in Clegane's Keep. I don't think they are. Probably should have checked beforehand. Oh, well. Lord's Hall. Very dark in Clegane's Keep. Someone's here. Who is here? Tybalt. There he is. Tybalt. Hello. And enlist in your army. That's a possibility, guys. As it happens, uh, I promise Lord... Uh, there we go. I'll join the Westlands. This is what I wanted. Excellent. So my relations have gone down with the Riverlands, the North and the Stormlands and it's increased with all the others and I just gotta leave us all but the re reason why I wanted to do this was now be because I don't have to pay f for my men at all which is fantastic news well, while we upgrade some of these Western levies I don't have to pay the upkeep now the Westlands pay the upkeep all they require me to do is to follow them into battle whenever there's a battle and this gives me a bit more freedom now in the campaign will act as a mercenary. I'll probably do this for 30 days, for about a month. 
as I get some more men. We'll still hunt for some bandits, we'll still look for some enemies, but this gives me a chance to level up my men while not worrying about the food, well, the, not so much the food, but the money of the army all the time. So, gives me more possibilities and a bit more flexibility. While I recruit a bunch of levies, actually I want to go, what's my food like? Oh, wrong button. Inventory. Got plenty of food, probably do a bit more. The more, the better for me, I suppose. Uh, I wanted to go into supplies. Let's go back to this minute. Supplies. Some rabbit. Pork. Some cheese. Let's get loads of food. 789 coins. It's a lot of money, but it will be worth it. I won't have to worry about that for a while now. And what's my party like? I can have 53, so I, I want to get a few more. My, my uh, general's bodyguard units. My companions. Are slightly wounded, so I could rest up somewhere. 11 days left for food, so that's not a problem at all. And there we go, this is what I'm on about, see? The mercenary payment from the Westlands is 257. The wages was only 244, so I've actually gained money rather than lost it. Excellent news for me. Of course, it does mean that I will be hunted down by the Riverlands and the North and the Stormlands, I think it was. So we must be wary of them. Any peasants here? Three peasants. Excellent. So, slowly bolting up our levies. Levies are not that good of troops, to be honest, but this stage of the game, they are cheap to uh, cheap enough. Oh, broken men. I want to hunt down the broken men if I can. It appears they have outrun me, the fools. Damn it. Party size, 44 now. I'm going to go close to the Riverlands. I don't want to go too close, I might go back this way actually. Uh, I want to find some more enemies to fight. If, if, if possible, I'd like to join in with some more battles because I'm at the low level at the moment. And let's see, let's get to know some of these. Oh, we also send that Selhart, who should be currently at Sarsfield. If you will be heading towards there, would you deliver it to him? The letting his beard. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll go to Sarsfield for you. No problem, sir. Gotta find it now. Where's Sarsfield? Oh, it's only by there. God. An easy quest. Sarsfield's only by there. Nice and easy. Oh, looking across your shoulder. Ah, Renly wants to... Oh, Renly has forged an alliance with the Tyrells. Ooh. And my relation with the Reach has gone downhill now, so... Oh, declaration of war. The Reach declared war on the Westlands. <gasps> Sacrilege. So, trouble brewing. Sarsfield. Who do you say I got to talk to? This dude over here. One of these dudes. Is it Melvin or oh, Elwood Hart? That's the one. Hello. At your service. I bring message from Mr. Stephen Swift. Yay. Increase. Quest completed. May leave. Thank you. Goodbye. So have I done that quest now? Let's just double check because I'm a bit of a... Yeah, that quest is done. No problem. Easy enough. Improve my relation with the Lord. Which is always nice. And I think we'll do a little bit more in this campaign now, in the next few minutes, then I'll probably... Ooh, Tywin. Hello, Tywin. We meet again, Sir Richard Dragonheart. What is it? Do you have any tasks for me? We were supposed to captain recruits to the Thankfully, we missed we went. But they want us to give them three pills we could rank and number. So then you command to find me three veteran Riverlands pikemen as prisoners. Oh, shit. I can't... Ah, oh, I should have lost, uh... Shit. <laughs> Philip Plum, let's talk to Philip Plum. Hello, Philip. Do you have any tasks? No, okay, fair enough. Bye-bye. The veteran pikemen, they're quite, you know, veteran. Could have got some levies, I suppose, and trained them up. It does take a while, though. This game is going to take a while. It's going to be a big series, I hope, probably... 50 episodes at least, probably a lot more. These games do take a while. Any bandits around here? Ooh, banditos. I see some, I think. Yes, we're going to join in this battle to finish the episode. It's going to be an absolute slaughter. Move in to help Sir Robin Body. Rush to the aid of the Fair Mark of Patrol. No, the enemy, if you want. Sir Robin Riger. You have 49 troops. What? Oh, shit. Have I picked the wrong team? Leave. Hang on. I've done something wrong. Fair Market Patrol is the one we want to help. Right. 
We want to help the fair market patroller's friend, right? Oopsie. Ah, oh, against four. There we go. So let's charge the enemy. Charge. Hopefully he'll be on land with the the horse. And I am. This is good news for me. Don't have the best of horses in the world, but I do have a sword and shield. Where's the enemy? The enemies are all the way over here, this way. Need to get a better horse eventually. Need to improve my horse riding skills. Hopefully in this campaign I can. The more battles I have, the more experience I will have, and the eater should be for me to upgrade. Oh, and the enemy's over here. Leave some for me, please. Come on. I am helping you in this battle. Don't kill him. I want to kill him. I can see one. I can see one. I want to kill him. Me, me, me. Come on. Oh, I got him! But hey, I actually got a kill in this battle. Ah, uh, overkill, come on. Get in my way, guys. This one guy is proving to be a bit of a problem. Oh, I got him. I got two kills, That's, I'm quite happy with that. And I've advanced to level, to level six, excellent news. A victory, two kills. Thank you for your help, no problem. Ooh, you are my prisoner now. Well, hey, we got a prisoner. Oh, Riverlands has gone to downhill completely. So, what am I going to do with this prisoner? Let's go back towards... Hopefully there won't be any enemies in the Riverlands for me to worry about. Oh, I don't like to run from battle. <laughs> hopefully it won't happen again. I didn't mean to, it's because I clicked on the wrong team. The wrong side. Let's go back into home territory. I have a prisoner now, so I'm trying to think what I can do with him. Now let me go to camp. Recruit some of your prisoners to your company. Oh, that doesn't work like that. Resume travel in that case. A town I need, I think. All of these these castles. They are castles. I don't want that. I want a proper town. I think there's some over here. So we'll quickly dash over here. Oh, I could've, could've had another battle by there. Lannisport definitely is, so we'll go to Lannisport for now. And I want to go to the tavern because I have a prisoner. Ooh, he got nice, nice armor. Elite Merman Cell Sword Crossbowman. Looks very tasty indeed. And we will get them definitely. There you go, sir. I wonder if there's anybody upstairs. It's possible. Let's have a quick look. Just a quick look to see upstairs. Ooh. Nope, no one up here at all. It's a bit of a shame. I can't afford to buy any land. That might be helpful to get some land early in the campaign as well. Just in case. I don't know what to do with my prisoner. <laughs> can I talk to the prisoner at all, I wonder? Is there a problem where I can talk? I can. Do not try running away or trying something stupid. I will be watching you. No, I swear I won't. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a uh, level up as well. So, oop, wrong button. Character, strength, agility, I think probably strength for now. And we are using a one handed weapon and we're also using a bow, so we'll go with the bow for now. My archery increase and tactics, persuasion. Power throw, power anyway, iron flesh and power strike are okay at the moment. They're both on four. Web masters on three and shield. Athletics and riding, horse archery could be useful perhaps. Trainer is going to be useful. We'll go with that because that helps my men level up much quicker. But I'm going to end the episode there. So I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Until next time, goodbye.